for Europe, it just keeps getting worse. Winter is approaching and the continent is desperately trying to avoid an energy crisis. It is stockpiling gas and rationing supplies. If it fails to build reserves right now, Europe would be staring at rolling blackouts, shuttered factories and a deep recession. It is not an easy task. And now European leaders have a new problem to deal with. The shortages could begin sooner than Europe predicted. The pipelines that supply gas to Europe are leaking. The ones that bring gas from Russia to Europe, they are damaged. There are leaks at both the Nord Stream 1 and the Nord Stream 2. Doesn't that sound suspicious? Already Russia has cut gas supplies to the region and now suddenly the pipelines are leaking. Is this just a coincidence? That's exactly what leaders of two European countries are wondering as well. Germany and, and Denmark suspect this is an act of sabotage. Is that the truth? Is someone trying to sabotage Europe's gas supplies? On Gravitas tonight, we decode Europe's latest energy crisis. First, let's tell you about those leaks. Here is what's happening. Russia had built two pipelines to supply gas to Europe, the Nord Stream 1 and the Nord Stream 2. Both the supply lines are under the Baltic Sea. Last night, both pipelines developed mysterious leaks. Officials monitoring the pipelines saw a sudden drop in pressure. Sweden was the first one to report the leaks. It disco discovered two leaks on Nord Stream 1. Soon after that, more reports came out. Denmark discovered similar problems on the Nord Stream 2. This pipeline is not really in use. It was supposed to be operationalized, but the plans were shelved in February this year. It happened just days before Russia invaded Ukraine. Russian troops had amassed around Ukraine by then. Their offensive pretty much killed any plans to operationalize Nord Stream 2. So Europe's supply will not be impacted a lot if this pipeline is damaged. The bigger worry are the leaks at the Nord Stream 1. It is the main pipeline that supplies gas to Europe. Here are some quick facts. In 2021, Russia supplied nearly 40% of the EU's gas needs through the Nord Stream 1. Before the war, several major European economies depended on Russian gas supplies. Half of Germany's gas imports are Russian. France got a quarter of its supply from Russia. Italy got 46% of its gas from Russia. Since the war in Ukraine started, the Russian supply has not been steady. Moscow has cut Nord Stream's capacity to just 20%. It blamed the Western sanctions for this. Russia claimed important equipment to run the pipeline is being held up. Now the same pipeline is leaking. There is no clear explanation yet. No one can say for sure what is happening. But some claims have emerged. Swedish seismologists have come up with an assessment. They say that they detected some explosions near the Nord Stream pipelines. Apparently, they happened in the same area as the gas leaks. Germany is investigating this as an act of sabotage. The evidence points to a violent act rather than a technical issue. That is what a German security official told an American news outlet. Denmark's prime minister has doubts as well, saying it is hard to imagine these are coincidences. We cannot rule out sabotage. Poland also is raising concerns. Consider these comments from the Polish Prime Minister. We don't know all the details, but we see clearly that it is an act of sabotage related to the next step of escalation in Ukraine. So key European leaders are crying foul. They are obviously hinting at a potential Russian hand. In the past, the European Union has accused Russia of blackmailing the region. Moscow, of course, has hit back at Europe. But this time, the Kremlin is singing the same tune. Russia also fears the Nord Stream could have been sabotaged. This is a very alarming news. Indeed, we are talking about some destruction in the pipe. 
but it's not yet clear what kind of pressure has really dropped in the Danish economic zone. This is a completely unprecedented situation that requires an urgent investigation. We are extremely worried with this news. So Russia wants an investigation. Will it work with Europe to find out what really happened? Or is Moscow just posturing? The U.S. says it is ready to support Europe, but it seems like the European Union has been taken aback. Today, Brussels refrained from blaming anyone. At this stage, it's very premature to speculate on what the causes are. As I said, we've been informed uh, about the situation by the member states concerned, and the member states are looking into this issue. We will remain in close contact with them, but it's really not the moment to speculate on what the potential causes could be. But those statements failed to reassure the markets. Gas prices spiked in Europe today. This is a sensitive situation. As of today, there are no signs of any serious disruption to Europe's gas supplies. But even just the fear of a disruption is causing the markets to react sharply. The biggest casualty of this situation could be Germany. Experts say the German economy is already sending recession signals. Businesses are worried about future prospects. They say high energy costs are putting pressure on the profit margins. Even German citizens are concerned. They are worried if they will be able to make ends meet. Tonight, we have a case study for you. Monique Rook is a single mother. She lives in Berlin and she is struggling to make ends meet. The high cost of living has forced her to take her children to a food bank. I've given up things for my children since forever, but now I'm giving up even more. I only finish what the children haven't eaten. I probably spend 200 euros a week on shopping. I have three children and I already buy things on sale. If there's a toast on sale, I buy five packs and freeze them so that I can somehow make ends meet. The state of affairs is dire. The situation could get out of hand if Europe fails to contain its cost of living crisis. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.